Hey everyone, Andor here at Windows Report and in this video I will show you how to reveal file extensions in Windows 10. So the first method that I highly recommend is to use Windows File Explorer. So open a new window of File Explorer and then make sure to click on the View tab in the upper part of this File Explorer window. Now in here you have a section called Show and Hide. And as you can see you have an option that says File Name Extensions. If you untick the box next to it you will see that the extensions will disappear. So if you go again to View and then click on File Name Extensions and tick the box next to it you'll see that the extensions will show up. Another useful method is to show file extensions from control panel. To do this press the windows button in the lower left corner then simply type control and then select control panel from the search results. Now in here select the appearance and personalization category and afterwards click on file explorer options. Now in the file explorer options window make sure to click on the view tab and then scroll down in the advanced settings until you find the hidden files and folders subsection. Now what you have to do in here is simply untick the box next to hide extensions for known file types, press on apply and ok to save the changes. Now if you open a new tab of File Explorer, you will see that the extensions show up in the file names. And lastly, another great method is to simply use Registry Editor. To do this, press the Windows button, then type in Reg Edit and select Registry Editor from the search results. Now in here, make sure to navigate to the following path. H key Current User, then Expand Software, afterwards double click on Microsoft, then scroll way down until you find the Windows key and expand it, then double click on current version, afterwards scroll down until you find explorer and double click on it and lastly click on the advanced key. Now in here what you have to do is localize hide file ext d word and double click on it and in the value data box instead of 1 just type in 0 and then press on ok to save the changes. And that's it, plenty of methods to consider. And if you enjoyed this video just make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.